Hello and welcome back to another vlog. So this, I know I say this, I feel like I've said this all year, but this vlog is incredibly different to anything I've ever done. Uh, but it is one of our life moments and I wanted to document it and I wanted to share it with you guys. And most of you will have seen on Instagram already um, the exciting announcement that we made just before Christmas. Um, and based on the fact that you've probably read the title of this video, you will know that we are picking up a puppy. Um, so I wanted to share this life moment with you really. I think that was it. And also for something for us to look back on in 10 years time. Um, but yeah, we are picking up a puppy. So um, we are very excited. Uh, we are off to pick her up tomorrow. Um, she is a red fox Labrador mixed with a red setter. So she's a gorgeous orangey red colour. Um, she's uh, eight weeks old today. So we are picking her up tomorrow and I cannot wait. This has been a long time coming. Um, we've wanted to get a dog for like two years, but it's just not been the right time. Um, we started the process kind of last Christmas and then was on we were on a few lists to get puppies but it just didn't work out um, at the time and then lockdown happened and we decided we weren't really sure like well no one knew we, no, no one knew what was going on so um, we decided to put our kind of search on hold for a while because we didn't know what the world was going to look like kind of six months later so um, and then the opportunity came up recently where a friend of a friend uh, a family member of a friend let me know that uh, they were having puppies and uh, the rest is history and that kind of call that I got eight weeks ago is now um, to, uh, what do I mean it's like eight weeks forward and uh, she is now able to go home so we are off to pick her up tomorrow it's a good two hour drive uh, to go pick her up so we have prepped the car ready we have got her crate in the car with lots of blankets and cuddly toys and uh, chew toys for her and a water bowl and some food etc because uh, we'll probably stop somewhere on the way back with her so that she can get out and have a wee and stuff if, and have something to eat if she wants um, but I expect she'll probably sleep most of the journey home because puppies at this age just sleep all day and all night so um, yeah I just wanted to share this news with you uh, it's super exciting uh, I can't wait to show you Indy she is just the most beautiful dog uh, from what we've seen on video because obviously we haven't actually met her yet <laughs> because uh, it's been locked down and we weren't able to travel and just because of um, restrictions and making sure that everybody involved was safe um, we decided to not meet her before the eight week um, going home period so um, yeah we are going to pick her up tomorrow and I'm very excited and Thea's very excited uh, um, it's I'm being a, becoming a mum so uh, yeah but I want to share this with you because I'm gonna share I think probably just like 48 hours or something um, of like what what she looks like and how she behaves and how coming home is etc so uh, I hope you enjoy this video it's already at four minutes the intro so um, I'd better go and show you what happens and while I'm here if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe there will be videos, more videos of Indy in the coming weeks and months, of course. Um, and I put up a video every Friday. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you soon. So we are nearly in Wales. Uh, we are heading over just across the border to pick up our pup. Um, it's been about two and a half hour, three hour drive. Uh, but we're nearly there, which means that we become dog mum and dad in the next half an hour or so. Is that a bit loud? You're okay. Yeah. 
We're nearly home. Where are we? as well we're trying to get her onto the puppy pad but um, it's going to take a little bit more practice um, we both went upstairs earlier to do some house jobs and she was whining for a little bit but managed to settle herself and had a little nap while we were upstairs um, so I think she's all good she's pretty chill first day success I would say morning can you see the bags under my eyes because I certainly can um, it was the first night we had Indy at home last night and we are both a little bit sleep deprived she we pop, managed to get her settled around 11 I think it was in the end and then she slept till about 2 um, started crying. We, oh, I was meant to say, we did bring her into our bedroom, so this is our bedroom at the moment, um, and she was in, we did bring her crate upstairs um, last night, and I think it's the only night we're going to do it, because uh, there's no way for us to sleep downstairs, so we did that just for tonight. Um, she did have a couple of accidents in the night, but that's obviously expected, and uh, yeah, she then woke up once at two, another time at like four or five o'clock, and then again at like seven, so... We were both pretty tired and obviously because it's all new to us as well we both ended up getting up all three times so in the space of like eight hours we've only had like four hours sleep but this is what having a puppy is is like I'm told so <laughs> we are both pretty knackered um, but we are ready for the day and it's another day of just seeing how Indy settles in and hopefully she yeah it's, it's a lot it's, I want to be honest obviously in all these vlogs and it's a lot, it's, we're both very tired and um, I think the adrenaline carried us through yesterday but um, we're a bit knackered today, it's like lunchtime now so I'm going to head downstairs and we've just had a shower and take over for a few hours while Theo does some bits and does some jobs and then we've got some house decorating to do which I don't know how that's going to go down well with her because I think she's just going to want to cuddle and be with us and be a bit clingy so we'll see. But um, yeah, let's go downstairs and I will show you to her. Show you to her, we will show you her. I'm so tired. <laughs> you giving me puppy dog eyes. You are being a good girl though. guys know I am honest and raw and real so I want to show you kind of what it's like to be a dog mum in the first kind of couple of days of owning one and as if this week hadn't already been enough 
with moving house and I now have cold as well which is not ideal um, yeah we then picked up Indy yesterday and as you would have seen from the footage um, yeah brilliant like it's brilliant it's a brilliant, a brilliant 24 hours we are both very tired she slept in our room last night just so that she wasn't on her own because she's obviously been used to eight brothers and sisters and mum around all the time um, so we didn't want it to be too much of a shock and also we knew that she would whinge if we popped her on her own downstairs anyway so so we went to bed about 11 and then she was whinging for a while and we bought that's when we bought her from upstairs uh, downstairs to upstairs and we popped so about half 11 12 o'clock and she went to sleep and then she fell asleep and didn't wake up till four which was good I think um, Theo then got up with her at four and took her for a, a wee and then she wouldn't settle very well so he stayed up with her for like an hour managed to get her back to sleep and then I got up um, about half six seven and went and lied with her in the other bedroom for a few hours um, but yeah we're both very tired. Theo's gone off to work today because he's got he's got to work today. But we've got all weekend to chill, so um yeah, and she's just below me now, just having a having a little sleep. So she's pretty chill, but she goes through her moments where she goes a bit crazy. But um I've managed to have a shower. It's like having a newborn. Yes. Um I've managed to have a shower and have something to eat and she didn't jump up or anything when I was eating which is good so yeah this is the update and I will keep filming probably the rest of today so you can kind of see 48 hours with a puppy and then um, we are going to start introducing her to some friends and family Mo probably mostly over zoom or skype or facetime because obviously um, the UK is in tier systems at the moment and even though we're in tier 2 a lot of our friends and family have just gone into tier 3 so it means that we can't see them um, which is a bit of a pain because we really want Indy to meet lots of people um, a lot of um, puppy guides say that your puppy should meet 50 to 100 people within the first 12 weeks of them being born so obviously we've now got four weeks to up those numbers a little bit more so um yeah how life has changed guys so let's go day two so this is her crate at the moment uh, we do have a pen as well which we put around her crate so that she can get out and about uh, but she did jump over it so um, we might put it back out later but yeah this is her area for drinking and eating hungry and then in her crate she's got the uh, bottom of one of the dog beds in the bottom some blankets her toy from which her smells like her mum and then a couple of other toys as well she's got um, like a dinosaur thing, an elephant and a duck and then we cover the top of the crate with this blanket to keep the light out so it's like all snug We also got her a new collar because the one that uh, was on her from birth got a little bit small for her so we've got her this pink one which isn't ideal but it fits at the moment from pets at home and then we've got her a better one for when she gets a little bit older she's now trying to bite the camera <laughs> what are you doing So this is the puppy food that we've got for her, which um, the lady that bred her said was the best one, or the one that she was using anyway. So there's no added wheat in it, and yeah, it's just the Step Up Naturals one. And it's like tiny little Weetos. Every morning we come here and grab this little cup, which we then weigh out on the scales. Um, of how much kibble based on her weight which at the moment 
she gets about 150 grams of kibble and we put it in here so that we know how much she's had throughout the day uh, and then this is her little treat bag which she gets when she's going to be going for toilet breaks outside so she'll get this when she um, goes for toilets and poos outside however for the first few days she's going to be using these which are puppy pads from I think these ones are from Poundland but we've also got the ones from Pets at Home um, because we haven't quite got her ready to go outside yet in the first 24 hours so um, she's got these which we will put down in the living room and then as time goes on we're going to try and get her to go outside so fingers crossed. We also bought these um, containers from Ikea which we're using to put the treats in. Uh, she doesn't really like these um, so we're not using them at the moment but we are using these instead which are like little fig rolls but I think they've got meat in so uh, yeah she loves those and this is a lot easier to get them out in this format than in plastic bags and uh, food containers. And then I just thought I would show you what I've got for her in this. We're keeping all of her bits and bobs. Can you see her head? <laughs> she knows I've got her basket open so she's trying to work out why. But yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of what we've got in her basket. So uh, we have a hairbrush, which she's not so keen on at the moment, she just wants to bite. Um, lots of biodegradable um, poo bags. Peanut butter, which she is getting used to, but isn't super keen on at the moment. We also got some puppy toothpaste and a toothbrush. How random. Some shampoo for dogs, which I think is from I think is from Pets at Home. Uh, some nail clippers, and then this is her collar, which we bought um, before we got her, but it's too big still. So uh, she'll probably fit into that in a couple of months' time. But this is Pets at Home as well. Uh, we also have a which we haven't started using yet um, I want to do a little bit of research on how this works first um, before we start using it properly um, so yeah we will use the spoon and then the rest is just full of treats we've got some white chocolate buttons these sweet potato and turkey flavoured bones and then these like chew stick type things. So she is well aware what is in here because she wants to come up, don't you? <laughs> you can smell it all. But she is being good, she's just kind of sitting there. She knows that she can smell something good though, don't you? Should we say hello? So yeah, that's what we've got in this box and this just sits like under the sink in one of the cupboards. Um, well, not under the sink, in one of the cupboards down below. Um, and everything goes in here, so we really know where to find everything. So Theo did the, in the middle of the night, feed a search last night. And it's now 5.30, so I've got up because she was whinging. Um, and for good reason, because even though you should leave dogs when they are whinging for no reason, um, in the morning, in the evening, and after food, and after naps, oh, um, it's because they probably need a wee or a poo. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I have got the worst cold as well, so that's not ideal but yeah I've come downstairs and I let her out and she went for a poo and a wee and now she's having some treats and playing with her Kong so I'm knackered but Theo was amazing and got up in the middle of the night with her so it was my turn <laughs>